The ongoing army recruitment exercises are now attracted the attention of the Parliamentary Committee on Equal Opportunities following allegations that it had barred more than 20 candidates from joining the military on allegations that some candidates were pregnant. The House Committee now says it will summon Defence Minister Yusuf Haji to shed some light on the issue. We feel that there is an element of discrimination and unfairness on the part of those who are recruiting. The January 9th referendum in southern Sudan will mark a turning point for the region and could see the formation of Africa's newest state. But now a group of non-governmental organizations from southern Sudan are warning that postponing the referendum will spend doom for the nation. Southern Sudan President Salva Kir has also sounded an alarm over the same. People are beating drums of war. And when they beat drums of war, we will conduct the referendum we will do it in the presence of the United Nations and all other people will be present there. Today, we are left with 70 days for referendum. Part of this money until today has not come. Why? Because it was empty promise. We want to say again here that the donors should stop misleading and giving false promise people of South Sudan. Finally, Kisi Mayor Samuel Nyangeso has been hosted after councillors staged an impromptu election and elected councillor Edward Nyamwea as the new mayor. The councillors from various wards within the area are said to have taken this drastic move following allegations of corruption against the former mayor. Michael Mayaka, Citizen Live at Nine.